your body temperature runs the show. We've all felt great after a cold morning walk. We've all felt horrible after a, a night's sleep that was too warm. Your core body temperature is like a quiet conductor in your body that moves in rhythm with your sleep and your hormones. But as we age or just accumulate a lot of stress, that range or that rhythm really gets compromised. As we age, our internal thermostat, our hypothalamus, becomes not as precise as it once was. Inflammation raises the baseline heat of our bodies, and it's not just a comfort issue. It, it means that our bodies are losing resilience. So the goal isn't just to stay cool. The goal is to maintain a range where your body can get cool and hot when it needs to. And that adaptability is what we want. So how do we do that? How do we reset our internal thermostat and support our hypothalamus? Well, there's a few ways. One, we want to get morning sunlight to set your rhythm. Two, you want to move throughout the day so your body heats up and then practices cooling down. The third one is cold exposure. It doesn't have to be a cold plunge. It can be a little cold shower, walking when it's colder. That's actually good for you because your body practices needing to warm up. And then the last one, kind of like the second where you, you warm up to practice cooling down is forced heat or heat therapy. And people do this in a sauna. So all these four things help you keep the range as big as possible so your body can cool down and warm up as it needs to. The goal isn't just to get hot or get cold for the sake of getting hot and cold. It's to let your body practice getting back hotter or getting back colder if it's too hot or too cold.